Well, I'm back. It's been five months since I last uploaded and in that time I've moved house, we've had another child and it has just been absolutely great just to just chill, spend time with the family, but now I'm back and I will be uploading frequently, I will be making videos all the time and yeah, so if you haven't already, smash that subscribe button and let's get on to gaming news. Jumping into Nintendo, we have the whole Yuzu debacle. What that is, is Yuzu is an emulation platform used to emulate Nintendo Switch games. Nintendo took out every hatred and every bit of anger in their bodies that they had at Power World and they said, look, Yuzu, you're done. And they did, they finished up Yuzu, so that's ceased, that's no more. And what does that mean? Well, people started to speculate that this means that the Nintendo Switch 2, what I like to call the Super Nintendo Switch, will be coming out soon. And it's pretty much just a hardware update, so a lot beefier insides, and I want the games to be pirated straight away, which makes sense, because for a gaming company, they obviously rely on us, the consumer, to consume and buy their gaming products. That's really exciting to know, hopefully, that Nintendo Switch will be getting an upgrade. I mean, look at Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, it just struggled. And I know Game Freak has had a few hit and misses as of late, and cutting corners, and not really optimizing their games for the platform that it only releases on. Tears of the Kingdom, however, ran beautifully. So to think about that, we're getting something a little bit more that will be able to play even better games. It, it that makes me very excited, and I can't wait for that. Until then, we will focus on the games that are released, like the remaster for. Paper Mario Thousand Year Door, which is coming out very soon, Luigi's Mansion 2 HD, and Peach and Showtime game. So that's all coming out very, very soon. Nintendo Switch is eating good. Like the next few months is, you know, three big Mario games. A lot of nostalgia for people who have played the Thousand Year Door and Luigi's Mansion 2, which I believe was only released on 3DS. So having that on the Switch will be awesome because the Switch is due to finish up soon. The life is coming to an end. I feel like Nintendo is trying to just get everything on the Switch that can, and then hopefully, if it is just a hardware update, we'll be able to backwards compatibility play the old Switch games with the new Switch, which will just be great. We're gonna have, at the end of it, like a 12 year gaming library that we can just sit back and play handheld, which is gonna be great. Hopefully they eventually release a lot of the old Zelda titles, like the Wind Waker, Twilight Princess, having all that in one place will be great as well. Down the PlayStation, we just got Rebirth, Final Fantasy VII's second installment on their remake trilogy, and that has been absolutely breathtaking. To see old places that were from the first game, like the original Final Fantasy VII, and seeing them though how they've made them now has just been absolutely amazing. I've been living in photo mode as if I'm a tourist amongst it all, and it, like I said, just breathtaking. If you are a fan, it is an absolute no-brainer. Even if you just like JRPG games, RPG games, whatever, to dive into Remake and then Rebirth. They are changing the story a little bit, so it's, it is, as much as it is nostalgic, it is cool to see what they're doing now and the little changes they're making along the way. Then at the end of this month, Rise of Ronin, which kind of looks like a Ghost of Tsushima type. You're a samurai and it's action, it just, it looks again, fantastic. And that comes out on the same day as Dragon's Dogma 2, which is obviously the sequel to Dragon's Dogma, which I never played, but everything I have seen about Dragon's Dogma looks absolutely fantastic, and the trailers for Dragon's Dogma 2 just look out of this world, so I eventually can't wait to get onto those two games as well, and then Stellar Blade, and that also looks again just so great so much good stuff coming out 2023 was already a big year for games and gamers and it looks like 2024 is looking to match that if not at least just compete with it a little bit and i mean gamers are eating well it's going to be such a great year and we know 2025 is going to be great if gta 6 does release in that window that they're hoping to release in so it's just going to be such a great time I love to play everything, so it is hard to do, but I can't, I'm not going to complain 
that great games are coming out the way they're coming out and if they're being optimized and they're coming out like to fit the console then we're also obviously getting the dlc expansion for elden ring which again i, I don't know if i'm gonna have the time to get through that eventually i will the new dragon ball game coming out there's a dlc coming out following goku's journey further into kakarot so much good stuff whether you're an anime fan, an RPG fan, it, it's all coming together and there's something for everyone. And that's what's so amazing. And I will be covering most of that on this channel. So if you haven't already, smash that subscribe button, hit like, have a great day, and I'll see you on the next one.